I should have took that little background out. It's okay though. Yeah. <clears throat> What's good, y'all? We back in the lab. We back in the studio. It's Captain's Law Podcast and YouTube Show. I'm Rob. To my virtual left, he's Rick. <laughs> You know what I'm saying we in what the up? building this evening. What's good? Shit, what's up, bro? Ain't nothing. We doing it virtual tonight, real all the way virtual. Usually it just be the guests, but you know we got shit going on, so the show must go on. Um, we here. You know what I'm saying? I got a ginger ale. I got a little bit of gas on my chest right now. Hold on. Yeah, we oh, know you failed, failed that sprite burp challenge. <sighs> Absolutely, but um. Topics for the night, man. We're gonna do our, you know, of course, our weekly weekend recap. Mm-hmm. We're gonna do NBA Finals Game Five. A little talk on that. Uh, a little bit of this Lizzo controversy. We got some what the fuck news. Uh, Jurassic Park Dominion rating, and we got some scammer page hacking type shit. I kind of want to touch on. It's, it's been sitting on my chest all week. <laughs> um, but without further ado, man, let's get into the weekend recap. Rick, I'll let you go first. Uh, so I was out of town all last week. Okay. I was in Charleston, South Carolina. I got back Friday. So Saturday, um, pretty much I didn't do too much, man. I just chilled for the most part. Um, and then Sunday took the kids to go see uh, Jurassic Park. But that, that I mean, that's pretty much about it. I was just winding down for my um, recap. Took Ronan to go see uh, his distant cousins. You know, shout out to Tim McNeil from uh, Queen City County Corso. Uh, took Ronan to one of his most recent uh, obedience classes and demoed and helped out on Saturday morning. But uh, and then me and wifey went to J and M. We did go to J and M Saturday uh, evening. Was a G and M bussing? I'm hoping it's better than the other place you just went to. Oh, True Lux. Uh, to be honest, uh, it was better than True Lux. My crap it still wasn't was that good. I heard G and M is like a staple. Like it, it is. That it was packed in that joint. The wait, the wait was like 45 minutes. Um, but it was alright. The, the server had an attitude in the beginning. I was about to fire her ass up, but then she came around right. Cause like she came to the table and was like, "What can I get you?" and like wasn't even making eye contact off rip. So I'm like, "All right, I'm about to smack this bra like already." Oh, but let me tell you some wild shit happened. All right, so I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna tell you some wild shit what happened, right? So you know me, you know normally I got the bling on, right? I got the Cuban, Mm -hmm. I got no ma in the necklace or whatever. So Mm -hmm. I'm sitting down. It's me, Tasha, and we got two friends across from us, and where we're sitting, it's like other tables, so people gotta walk past us. So this table was this table was being seated and this is what i let me tell you what i let me give you my perspective let me give you tasha and everybody else's perspective right okay so 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 i'm sitting down we're talking and then this white lady was just like oh my gosh she was like i like that picture of your necklace it reminds me of letting them lock it she was like that's so cute so from my perspective she just touched my shoulder right from oh, tasha's shit. perspective she was like oh nice Nice chain, nice chain, right? So I'm like, oh my god. So did she touch your shoulder or did she touch your so chest? I, I only I was like, she only chest touched my shoulder. Tasha and everybody else like, no, motherfucker, she touched your chest. So then I'm like, did you let and then I'm like, all right, so you let the shit slide. It caught me off guard because the bra was bold enough to touch me next to my wife, right? So Tasha, you know, I already know she getting after, but then she talking shit though. So she she making fun of it or whatever the fuck. So then the bra goes to the bathroom by herself. So then Tasha and then, you know, my homeboy uh, wife, they went to the bathroom, right? Just being nosy. And mind you, this ain't like no normal Karen. She's like 16, 190. She she probably wrestled horses for breakfast. Like she, so she so she had Karen it, she had Karen in all caps then. Yeah. So um they go to the bathroom. And uh, they was talking about vitamins or something, and 
and uh, Tasha got like a little slang word for vitamins or something. So she, the white lady, butt into their conversation. Just the oh, same lady. Never, same lady. Oh, I never heard that before. That's funny. <laughs> was she was she drunk? And, or like washed her hands. No, bro. So Tasha was like, "Oh yeah, this bro, bro." She was like, "I'm gonna have to get hit her with everything I got because this bitch is dead." But I got teased for the rest of the night about that because like, you got random white women standing on your chest. So I got I got teased with that, and she's not gonna let it go. So she's been telling everybody. So I figured I'd tell everybody else first before y'all hear from my wife. She's been talking shit. But I'm, I'm gonna. Pretty, I'm pretty sure I'll be I'll be brought up to speed soon enough. Oh yeah, you will. And full and I'm I'm yeah. So that's about it, man. And then Sunday, pretty much. Um, Pretty much chill. We just went to the movies and I laid around and did nothing. Try to reset from this trip. But that was about it, bro. Brock okay. self. Uh, really yeah, yeah, very busy, very busy. So I actually got a uh, a, a food uh, uh, deal, something sort of like yours. Ain't nobody touch me though. So I went to Chipotle. You know what I'm saying? You know it's about four blocks from the Chipotle. job. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Ada used to call it Chipotle with a J, with a, a soft a, a soft J. Um, so I go up that joint, you know what I'm saying? Get my polio asado bowl, you know, brown beans, pinto. I'm sorry, pinto beans, brown rice, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 mild sauce, corn, light sour cream, cheese, and lettuce, two dressings. Legendary mix up, right? I don't, there. I don't do the, I don't do the dressing. Dressing is mine's, I, I, mine's listen, a little bit different. The, like the last time I went to Chipotle and I didn't and I don't get do dressing. Lettuce, I threw that shit in the trash. I was like, what the fuck am I even eating? Am I just eating, just don't just eating raw yes, Chipotle? Look, I, I broke the code. There is no so code, every, bro. You have to have no, a dressing. No, listen. I, I did break the code. I'm going to tell you how I broke the code. Every time we order from like Uber Eats or something, right, they always forgot Tasha's salad dressing. Right? So There's no option. It's no option for you to add it. So I made it from scratch. I think you like, told me Exactly. This. Exactly. It's almost better than Chipotle. So now but you, but, but you know what? The easy way out, though, not to cut you off. You know the, the easy way out. If if they don't have none, just uh uh uh, what is it? Uh, what the fuck is that dressing? It's just the Italian dressing. No, it's it's it that is Chipotle, it's the same thing. That that Chipotle flavor is not in the just the Italian. But I can give it to that. But see, my bowl is so I get a bowl. I get half chicken, half steak. I get black beans. I get the fajita veggies. I get brown rice. You're doing too much. I get the I get the green chili. I get the red chili. I get the corn, sour cream, cheese, and I get queso. That's it. That's and I get much. chips. That's too much I shit, can't, though. I can't. What you mean? You just had the same shit with lettuce. What you no, mean? I ain't have. You You got two two different proteins, for, for, yeah. fajitas, and all that shit up in there. Yeah, that's the, too much that's shit, though. That's the veggies. It's the peppers and the onions. That's Man, veggies. you got lettuce. That ain't enough vegetables. Shit. No, the lettuce in there. Yeah, but, that is that is fucking rubbery plastic. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I'm I, I I've been considering not fucking with the lettuce, bro. I feel like the lettuce don't do nothing yeah, but just take up space in the bowl. It does. I got lettuce in my backyard. I don't need fucking chipotle, man. All right, so so I get there about lunchtime. You know, what I mean, it's about a little after twelve, but I got in there right before the rush came. So. Mm. You know, being a person that you know, I worked in fast food as you know, as a, a youth. I worked at Jerry Subs and Pizza in Burtonsville. Shout what it's called, fucking uh, uh, gyms or something. Jersey gyms now. Yeah, it's Jersey called Mike. some other shit. No, no, no. no. Jerry Subs, Jerry Subs. This joint is called. I thought they got bought out though, but Jerry Subs used to be busting back. In the Jerry day. Subs used to be busting. It was always expensive though, but the pizza was legendary. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, me, me have working in that environment. I always try to be like as nice and as like as loud as fluent as i can when i'm ordering my food because you know i know they in this joint getting swamped and some people be coming to be having their headphones on be looking at their phone and shit not paying attention you making their job hard i get that so mm -hmm. i'm on the joint i'm being vocal i'm like yeah let me get do 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 so i get to the register you know what i'm saying i already see the ladies uh body language is off you know what i'm saying so i'm like all right come on sweetheart you know what i'm saying so i get there and She's putting the stuff in the bag. She take she take the joint. <laughs> instead of her turning the bag to just put it in, she like take the joint, just drop it in the bag. So I'm like, so I didn't say nothing. So I was I was I was like, yeah, can I get a dressing? So she's like, what'd you say? So it's loud. I was like, I said, I said, what'd you say? She said, what'd you say? I was like, I said, can I get a dressing? She like, oh, turn rolled her eyes. I'm like, did she take that joint and drop it in the bag? I'm like, hey, you all right? 
She's like, you okay? She's like, what you mean? I'm like, you, why are you just dropping shit in my bag? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, look, I didn't, I'm like, I didn't, I didn't put a gun in your head and say apply to work at fucking Chipotle. Yeah. But tight, get fix your fucking attitude, dog. Like I, I had yeah. made an IG story on that. Like I hate that. Like all you doing is yeah. bringing the people food up. You're not even yeah. making shit, Make, and you got an attitude. No nothing. You're this not is cooking my shit. Biggest, this is my biggest gripe, bro. Motherfuckers that work, and when your job is mainly customer service, and you fucking suck at customer service, go play in traffic. It's not my fault. That you're mad and upset that you fucking work here. Like, no, that's not my fucking fault. I've been there. Fuck, I used to work at fucking Red Lobster. Ooh. Cheesy, as a bus boy. Cheesy bisques. Hey, but hey, I had a fucking smile on my face every goddamn day. You know why? Because I'm getting paid. You understand yeah. me? Yeah. But I'm like, like, it's not my fault. If you don't like fucking, you don't like customer service, go to fucking Olden Pants. Don't fuck. And I'm just like, my yeah. thing is, I'm like, you, y'all not even handing people receipts no more. And you like yeah. you got a whole attitude because I just asked you for asked dressing. For, yeah, something I'm, that she ain't make. So I walked out. I was just like, you know. So my thing is, I could have really made it more than what it was, but you know what I'm saying. I was sur- I was surrounded by like I ain't really want to embarrass her because it was like, you know, four, three, four white people in front of me, three or four white people behind me. So I was like, I'm not about to embarrass you in here like that. But I kind of just politely was like. You know, you should y'all like fix your attitude. I was like, you you acting like I like, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody in here and did something to you. You know what I mean? So she ain't say nothing. She's like, next person. I was like, yeah, all right. I was like, let, I was like, let, let me I was like, let me That's go back to my stand up desk, fucking, right? She was at she was at Bliss the fucking night before with her motherfucking she, she lace. Probably was hungover. Being being rolled up like a fruit roll up and shit. Yeah, she probably was hungover. All right, so past that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Chilled out. You know what I'm saying? Had went to a birthday party for Mrs. Miss Harris. Happy belated. Happy birthday. Happy belated. Yeah, shout out to Chris. Shout out to Chris. So I was over there joint. I was high as fuck. Uh, I was on there. I was on joke time. We had the fucking microphone. We was doing karaoke, nigga. I was I was doing karaoke, stand up, preaching. Giving yeah, a goddamn too. state of the yes. union, a, a eulogy. Yeah, nigga. I was I was doing all that shit at the same time. This is like, <laughs> please get the bike from this nigga, bro. He wild, bro. So I rode rode the bike over there, me and my son. But then I got caught in the rain. Well, I didn't get caught in the rain, but the ground was wet when I left. So I was like, oh shit. So nigga, I got the leg out the whole way home. Like you ain't gonna get me. Um, then uh, Sunday chilled out. You know what I'm saying? Got some rest. Got some game time, man. Got a dub on the Call of Duty. Uh, shout out to the Squizard for that. Um, I just clutched. I, I clutched it whole time. Um, then uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna be up late. I'm gonna be up late tonight because I'm well, I'm telework. So I'm gonna be up. Uh, then after that, man, with the dog finally came home. Shout out to yeah. Nugget. Shout out to yeah. Nugget. <laughs> Nugget, my seven week old American Bulldog, Brindle colored. Came home last night, got dropped off by Nelson. Shout out to Nelson if you want to get get yeah. one. He still got, still think he got two left. Uh, mm. going for the LO, pape it up. How was your um, night? Hmm? How was your night? Oh my god, bro! I was fucking catnapping the whole night, bro. Mm. So get the dog. Hey, so it's like already, a newborn, man. I know. So I'm already kind of prepared. I already knew I wasn't gonna get no sleep, but I'm just like, I didn't think it was gonna be that bad, bro. So the dog came through, you know what I'm saying? I had the food, all that shit, all this shit I done went and bought, put the cage together, you know what I'm saying? Got it, got the little set, got it set got him set up in there, and he ain't wanna he ain't wanna be in the cage. So he would get, he would fall asleep, you know what I'm saying? I pick him up, put him in the cage, and go back to sleep. He'd sleep about a half hour and get back up. Then want to get out. So I'm like, all right. So then you know he'd take a shit. And you know, he go back to sleep, same spot, put him in the cage. Say that shit happened about three times every hour and hour. So now we about 2 a.m. And now I'm like, all right, now I'm it's starting to it's I'm starting to feel it now, you know what I'm saying? And yet again, boom, he trying to get out. So I was like, man, maybe I just let him sit in there a little bit, he'd be quiet. But then he shit it in the cage. So I'm like, fuck. Get up, take him out the cage. At this point, I'm just like, he's not going back in the cage. He got so a lot I let of room him in the cage, huh? He got he got a lot of room in nah, there. Nah, it's a divider. Okay. Hey, I got a divider. It's about it's it's a little less than it's a little more, it's a little bit more than half that's still open. No. So so then he lay on the floor. So, so I get his little bed. I, you know, I got him a little bed. He didn't want to stay on that because his his claws and shit was getting caught. 
So I was like, all right. So you, this nigga just wants to lay on the carpet. So we lay on the carpet. He go to sleep. He slept for like an hour. So I'm like, bet we good. I go to sleep. I just happened to just open my eye halfway up. He's shitting on the floor. I'm like, oh, God. So, you know, <laughs> get up, clean him up. You know what I'm saying? Just give him a little sniff. Like, yeah, we don't do this here. You know what I'm saying? Get get that together. Took him outside. Let him do his thing. You know, went back to sleep. So now at this point, I'm pretty much just setting my clock every 30 minutes. And I'm getting up. And I'm just sitting over looking, waiting about 15 minutes for him to get up again. He shit it like six times last night. And what was crazy is he didn't eat any food when he got here. Yeah. So I'm like. It's a nervous shit. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he was neighbors. He was uh, 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 the whole time. So I get it. Um, but yeah, I, I took several power naps today. So he's been nibbling. He bit my fucking foot last night. Um, you know, I, I was like, look, look, look. Better get used to that was, that was the first, that. that was the first time I had ever actually gotten bit by, I mean, it's a puppy, but it's the first time I ever got right. bit by a dog. So I was like, oh shit, nigga, I was in shock for a second. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, um, he good though, man. But, I, but for me, I'm really just watching, you know what I'm saying? The rest of the family and, you know, they're being like, they're being very, very vigilant, like. You know, the dog is doing something. They'll be looking down at him. You know what I'm saying? You know, my daughter, she she want to play, but she's still scared of the dog. So, you know, we got to kind of ease her into that. Aiden is just like, I'm about to take him outside. I was like, yeah, go ahead. Take him outside. You know, let him let him do his business. So we're doing pretty good, man. But that was really, really the highlight of the weekend. That's the, the, the final piece to the, yeah. to, the, to the Marbury clan. Yeah. So that's all I got for the weekend recap, man. <clears throat> Um, but let's get into it, man. NBA Finals Game mm. Five was on last night. Golden State mm. for the win. Listen mm. here, Andrew Wiggins might get that MVP, bro. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's hard to say that because to be honest, everybody's playing like shit last night. Everybody was missing everything last night. Andrew Wiggins Earth. been giving you consistent buckets every game, though. He Damn near. He, he, Low he, key though, you you know he don't show no emotion. He he he, he just dunking the nigga face and just walk back down the court. Yeah, but everybody was like the first. To be honest, like the first half, almost always like the third quarter was hard to watch, bro, because everybody was bricking. It was a lot of turnovers. It was a lot of turnovers. Fuck on, bro. Like, it seemed like fuck, it was. It was. It seemed like they was playing desperation. I was like, why y'all playing like this the last game or something? I don't know, but I, I definitely went to sleep on their ass not too long after the third started because I had to get up. For work, but I woke up this morning, cut on the highlights, and my fuckers won. So they they won. I called it, you called it, go to state in six. Maybe yeah, maybe I maybe um I, I said that yesterday. I posted on our page. I said, look, if golden I said if golden state lose, they done because yeah. they're not gonna go back to Boston and win. Yeah. And I'm not saying that Golden State, you know, can or can't win in Boston. But Boston not gonna win in Golden State. So even if this thing goes seven games, it's a wrap, dog. Yeah, they, and, they shocked everybody with that first game because yeah, that was the yeah. first thing that Golden State has ever lost in the playoffs at home. Yeah. They always but, win in uh, home games. I but think they, they shocked, I think they shocked everybody. That's what gave them their momentum that they had because everybody was expecting them to fucking lose because they were just coming off of the games and they were tired. Yeah. Golden yeah. State had time to rest, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I think for I think watching Boston, man, they like Boston. They play they played pretty decent, but they was get they was getting a lot of fouls called on. It was a lot of it was some controversial plays. <sighs> Sorry, you already you know already know it's some it's always some antics. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This this alleged yeah. tripping of the player when he ain't really get touched. I mean, yeah, look, that motherfucker, he tripped himself up. Bro, we can sit here and say, oh, this happened because the last game, it was another play on the opposite team. Yeah, yeah. And the game before that, oh, it was another play on the opposite team. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's going to happen. You know, we can say, oh, the refs verse. Yes, the refs are. Listen, the referees are the worst fucking part of, of basketball mm -hmm. because it is impossible for them to call a good game. I don't know if they need more. How many? What is it? Two refs, three refs on the floor at once? A maybe lot they of need maybe they need like double the refs or something. I'd rather be there. I'd rather them motherfuckers be getting in the way of a nigga going to the cup. At least they're gonna make the right call. But a lot of these calls be fucking bad, dog. Flu like this, this little like jumping into people, dog. Like that's a you need to add that to that that's the trying to draw shit. the shot shit. If you jump into somebody. Like they're there in their place, they got their hands up. If you fucking jump into them and you get contact, it should just be play ball. You jumped into them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It also, it also shouldn't be no foul. 
if somebody fucking loses their balance and falls. If you trip over your own feet, it shouldn't be a foul on anybody no, I agree. if you fail I agree. yourself. No, I agree. Like, I get that, you know, we want to, you know, we want to reduce the injuries and all this, but what the fuck do they got to do with the person who didn't touch you? No, it's, it's just bullshit. It's you know what I'm saying? And honestly, this for me, this is when I kind of like, like when the when the finals be going on, I just be wishing that it would just be like game five and it's done because I be getting tired of it, bro. Because it's like you just you just don't know who's who's gonna fuck, who's gonna be the best, who's gonna be the best actor of this game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who gonna do it? Everybody, this game? everybody try to win the fucking Oscar, man. Because they all doing that shit, bro. All yeah. all of them at one point that did some type of flopping ass shit, whether it's a bump and take the shot. You know what I'm saying? All this falling on people and. Marcus Smart got teed up last night. Like it's 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 this shit's happening every game. Like, bro, like, are we not capable of just playing basketball? And I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That shit is not basketball. I don't know no, if, no. if they got them taking separate classes or that's a part of practice is flopping shit, but that's not no. basketball, bro. And no. you just do that. It's almost like you just do it just for, for niggas like me and you to come and talk about it. <laughs> like well we 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 know somebody gonna talk about this shit so let let let, let me let Draymond be at the foul line and get ready to go for the rebound and smack J and smack Tatum in the face yeah. like you doing extra shit bro like error and, and it's extra all of them it's Steph it's Clay it's fucking smart it's pool it's <clears throat> it's fucking Al Horford all them niggas flopping dog oh, just it, play it, fucking it, basketball it, it, it take the fun out of watching the fucking game man. They do. And they the thing do. about it, I don't even, I don't even watch basketball until the finals fucking pop off. So you making it even worse for me because I don't watch it like that. No, I be watching. I watch basketball, bro. I watch it, and no, watch honestly, football, bro. for me, bro, like I know this shit may sound crazy. I know a lot of niggas be like playoff basketball. I like regular season ball, bro, because a regular season ball, yeah, they still be flopping and shit. But it's like when it be like the beginning of the mid season, you just playing basketball. Like just, just play ball, basketball. Like it, it, you, you ain't you ain't in no desperation shit where you got you gotta go and do some goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? Just, nah, just I'll tell you, I'll tell you now. Yeah, I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you now. But uh, Golden State in six. I'm I'm gonna stand by yep. that. And if not, it's gonna yep. be Golden State in seven. But uh, yep. it is what it is. Yep, I call it. All right, moving on. So we got this Lizzo thing, man. So Lizzo got a song <clears> out. It's called Girls. And um, apparently she said uh, spaz. Uh, sorry I, if it's a controversial word, but I'm not going to say the S word. Everybody don't know what that means. Um, and she got some backlash for it. So she like immediately went and changed the lyrics. And she tweeted. I'm going to read it. She said, it's been brought to my attention that there is a harmful word in my new song, Girls. Let me make one thing clear. I never want to promote derogatory language as a fat black woman in America. I've had many hurtful words used against me. So I so I overstand the power words can have, whether intentionally or in my case, unintentionally. I'm proud to say that there's a new version of girls with a lyric change. This is a result of me listening and taking action as an influential artist. I'm dedicated to being a part of change. I've been waiting to see the world to see in the world. XOXO Lizzo. Bullshit. Bull fucking shit. Bullshit. And that's that's that to me. So that is a prime example of a fucking culture vulture, bro. That is a prime example of a fucking culture vulture. You know how I many people have the word spaz in their fucking lyrics? And it's just because of who she is and they listen to her. That's the only reason why they called her out. I'm pretty sure they was listening to fucking Jim Jones, Pastor Troy, or some shit like that, and they say fucking spaz, they're not going to say nothing. I'm fucking say, That's a slang term in our fucking culture. I'm about exactly. to spaz on your motherfucking ass. Exactly. You, you, you see what I'm saying? But you can't fucking sit. That's why I could never be fucking famous, bro. I can't. I couldn't deal with shit like that. But she had no choice, right? Because that's mm. something that's going to fucking spiral. It's going to have second and third order effects. Oh, now she don't care about people that got fucking cerebral palsy. And then they're calling her some... I've never even fucking heard of this word, and please correct me if I'm saying it wrong, but the, they called it an ableist slur? What the fuck is that? A word seen as particularly harmful in some countries where it has a history of being used as a schoolhouse talk. Get the 
fuck out of here, man. Come on, man. They fucking doing too much, bro. They fucking doing too much. Like, let fucking Lizzo live, bro. Like, I look, I'm all for it, right? I go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, Lizzo. Do your big girl shit, right? But, man, leave her the fuck alone. Like, what the fuck does it fucking matter? I'm pretty sure you didn't heard they cousins. They cousins was like, oh, yeah. Uh, such and such was spazzing on Karen the other day. Bro, there's been shit. so many instances where that shit has been yeah, on like live like, TV, bro. Out. Like, Get, I just feel like her, shout out to her having a good publicist. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will say this: they got okay, on that, damage, they got on that shit quick. Damage control. You you gotta be a bad motherfucker to change the lyrics over song overnight. Yeah. And they say it's a hit song too. You know, I just yeah. feel like there, there's so much shit out here that like are being said that like. Like so, out of all the shit, like the you know songs about niggas fucking drugging people, women and men, and that's what I'm saying. Killing you, motherfuckers, you got, and you got and way more. You got way worse shit. That's this in this is headline news. Everybody use the same spaz, and you know that's not what her intent was. Nope. You got to know. You got a motherfucker that's out here that was making a song about robbing ATMs, and he was really robbing ATMs. He got locked up. Was he was famous? Hey, Lizzo? I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. No, like, that motherfucker I, wasn't famous. He famous now. Mm, I feel you, bro. Like I could never, I could never be this type of like celebrity. No, I it's a rough it, life, man. dog. Like I don't want it. You people scrutinize you for everything you fucking do. If you come out just outside your house with your fucking Crocs on the wrong fucking feet, they're gonna fucking slander you, bitch. Yeah, like I like, give you an example. Yeah. What was it? It was Chris Brown. Uh, it was it was on TikTok. And he was coming out of he was coming out of somewhere in California and he was getting in his uh, his Lamborghini and it was like some I guess it was little kids and they was like trying to run to him and get an autograph. That nigga just got in his car and closed the door and pulled the fuck off and left. And they was like, Well, he ain't have to do this. And I'm like, bro, like yeah, the fuck you, you I'm like, do y'all one know of them what... kids, one of them little kids would have fell slid into his Lambo and they would blame this name. I'm like, I'm like, do y'all know what these motherfuckers go through, bro? Like, they perform in front of millions of fucking people constantly. Like, them niggas be, bro. I could just, you could see the stress in Chris Brown's eyes, yeah. bro. Like, and and you think for one cent, like he want to stop? Yeah, I'm maybe they with third straight. Yeah, like you, you can't, you, you like you just, you can't get everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? No. Yeah, they may have been waiting out there for a couple of hours. Well, oh fucking well, you know what I'm saying? You'll wait somewhere else. But Lizzo, keep doing your fucking thing, man. I, I don't. I'm not gonna say that I don't see anything wrong. I'm just going. I'm. I'm just reporting. Fuck that. Man. No. I think it's. I think it's. Fuck I think that. it's. it's I think it's a bit much. It's fucking dumb. They doing too much. Way too fucking much. Spaz on that. Yeah, I. I think it's a bit much, but whatever. So, we've got what the fuck news. Mm, so, what the fuck news? Did I say West? Recently, right? I think April, they they made an announcement that said, "Hey, he was going to be playing in the Big Three. You don't know what the Big Three is. It's a big, you know, uh, league that's made of former NBA players trying to get his mojo back. He been in the gym. He been cranking. He been going hard. They even seen him at I think it was like a fucking Woodbridge or Woodlawn fucking rec center. He was getting in buckets. Virginia. He was he was he was playing. He was balling." Yo, fucking two days later to see this motherfucker on Richmond Highway to panhandling for fucking money again, bro. I, th- I mean, they said I... they they and then the thing about it was they said he no show to the draft to the big three. He no show. So he had opportunity, he just didn't go. He he didn't fucking go, bro. It was like, don't get me wrong, right? I I am like I've experienced addiction, right, in my life. Right, not me personally being an addict, but you know, I have family members that done it. We've all had fucking family members that done it, and I understand that you know it's a hard habit to kick, right? Regardless if you addiction is addiction. So if you're not addicted to the drug anymore, you're addicted to something else. So I get it, right? But the thing about it is he's he had a lot of people that try to help him like over his career, and like he just keeps falling back. So whatever the fuck he's doing isn't working. Because there's there's people that's been in the same predicament and they're actually doing pretty good for themselves. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, he had money too. I, I I think it's I think it's the people that he's fucking with, bro. It gotta be. It gotta be. It gotta it be. Gotta be, bro. Man, so I'm hopefully you, you know he get over this little hump, man, and you know he get his shit together because he was a he was a good ball player, man. And don't let him see nobody 
had nah, that nah. status. I don't see him fucked up like that. They don't know see him fucked up like that. Man, I'm gonna tell you something. The best thing you can do, man, you a fucking basketball player, dog, and you didn't you grew you can you grew up in a bad area, man. You fucking move away, bro. Yeah, but he's been all over the fucking place, though. I don't know what, where but he, he all but he he always end up back in Oxford Hill somewhere, bro. Like I seen yeah, that, I was, seen that nigga, he was, bro. He was in Philly though, in Kensington. You know, Kensington is zombie land. Yeah, Kensington, that shit zombie land. They seen his ass out there, so he been struggling for a while. How the fuck, he even get up there, bro? Man, you, you, you trust me, you'd be fucking surprised of how the motherfuckers travel this on fucking anything. But this is my thing, right? Like he, they said he been in rehab. He just like went missing and shit like that. And I'm not saying I don't know if this is the right answer or what. But I think that people that he played with, especially teammates or whatever, I don't know if they helped him in the past. But I'm pretty sure somebody can fucking grab his ass, lock his ass in the motherfucking pool house and get his shit together and let him warm up at their own personal fucking basketball court that they got out or something and get his shit together. But I mean, who knows? I mean So so I just I just, I just hope he just kicked the fucking binge, bro, and just fucking get his shit together. So this is my thing. So I don't I don't know how long he was in rehab. But all I know is, I know when he was really trending in the news, he was looking crazy. I think this is the time he was getting fucking beat up or something in the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I know that was a while ago, but I know even he was trending after that. And then you had, like, Mark Cuban came in and, you know what I'm saying, was, like, helping him on all this other shit. But I felt like all that shit happened fast. Like, you got yeah, you got one month, you know, Mark Cuban supposed to help him, I guess, put him in rehab or some shit like that. And then right after that, like, he supposed to be joining the big three. I'm just like, I just feel like maybe he ain't, he ain't really have enough time to really be off that shit. You know what I'm saying? I think if he would have, let's say he went to the rehab in January, you know what I'm saying? And mm. the big three joint was in December. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, all right, if you've been good that long, you should be all right. But this shit was like, this shit happened in January and the big three joint was in like March. So that's like, uh, was he really, was he really going to be fit to go out there joint and be on yeah. fucking TV dog? Like, yeah, this motherfucker been everywhere. This motherfucker was in Texas. This mother, this motherfucker was in fucking uh, PA on Kensington Street. The fact that he was on fucking Kensington Street, bro, says enough. This motherfucker is out there. You know, we got the dope fiend laying out here in fucking Baltimore and fucking DC heavy. But Kensington, half in fucking PA in Philly, that whole street is nothing but fiends, bro. Fiends and, and that like that's just like the scared row for fucking. I'd rather say it's like yeah. a scared row, yeah. Yeah, that's shit, but there's no tents out there. It's just motherfuckers laying in the street. Oh wow! On the sidewalk, yeah, that shit. Wow, I'm gonna send you some shit. You gonna be like, fuck that. They job established out Cali, bro. I be telling niggas all the time. I was like, bro, homeless in California and homeless here is different. I'm like, Completely nigga, different. You- motherfuckers got. Fucking three bedroom fucking tents. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, nigga, you homeless out California. You work every day. You just ain't got nowhere to live. You ain't got a house. You homeless out here, nigga. You homeless. And them niggas is hustling out there too. You got motherfuckers that got the big tents. They selling clothes and yeah. toiletries to everybody else in scare bro. So they making money. But hopefully he get his shit together, man. I don't want to see his ass in the news no more. Yeah. What else we got, man? I have some more shooting. It's just shit everywhere. You had the shit up there by Smith's. It's called Smithsburg. I didn't know Smithsburg existed. It's like right outside Hagerstown. Um, it's like 60 miles away from D.C. The shooting at the manufacturing plant. Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. You had yeah, that yeah. shit. You yeah. had the fucking shit at Iverson Mall. You had the shooting at Iverson Mall, which then also led to another shooting behind Iverson Mall in the neighborhood back there. Then you had shit in District Heights. Then you fucking had... Um, then you had the fucking teacher in fucking Charles County and Thomas Stone High School. Mind you, this is the school that I went to and graduated from. Fucking teacher was breaking up a fight, four years old. They threw her ass up against a locker. They had to medevac her ass out of there. Fucking school's out of control, bro. bro out of I, control. Honestly, bro, I think this the whole whole us are just out of fucking control, bro. Like, I, man, did, I, you I, see, I, did you see the video that was at... Uh, Half smoke in DC. No. About these bronze fighting. If I find them, I'm gonna sing to you. Bro, they acting like a fucking complete fool, bro. These females, sorry, females fighting inside half smoke in DC. Shorty is on top in the booth, stomping on Shorty ass out. I did see that. I did see it. 
I did. Then you got then then they all jump at one chick, one dude he fight the girl. Like why the come on man? Like that. Don't get me wrong. Please do not take this the wrong way. I'm with all the fucking smoke, right? There's a time and place for everything, but where you're gonna get in trouble is fighting that motherfucking restaurant. See me outside, cause I'm about to tear some shit up in here. So I'd rather fuck you up on the street than fuck you up in this restaurant, cause yeah, I'm not about to pay for that. And then you know, pretty much after that fight, everybody paid for their fucking food. Everybody just walked the fuck out. Motherfucker seized the opportunity. It was like, oh, they was wrecking. I'm not paying for my food. I'm out of here. You know how motherfuckers think. That shit crazy, bro. Yeah, we gotta do better, bro. We gotta do better. First of all, half smokes food is trash. I just want to throw that out there. Um, you know, bro, like I, I, I used to think that like maybe I'm just getting older and I just can't understand like why shit happens the way it does. Because when I used to be out in the streets and shit used to happen, you know, I was with the shits too. But like I, I saw I saw a Facebook post today. It was from Sean Estrada. Shout out to Sean. We gotta get that motherfucker on here too. We wild. Um yeah. He had he had reposted somebody something that somebody else said it was just like I can't be the only one who just be walking around looking at everybody like wondering like like why is everybody so like stupid? No, like, I agree. I, I agree. be feeling like like it like I mean this is you know I'm not I'm not even gonna get into the train shit. I ain't been on the train in about a week. But like you know, from shit to the trains, the motherfuckers in the cars, the people in the stores, the people out in public, like niggas be doing dumb shit, bro, and like really in their hearts be thinking like that shit is okay you know what i'm saying like so you go in the store and you know what i'm saying you come in you come in there with a fucking ski mask on or whatever the fuck you know with a uh, shiesty <laughs> mask whatever you got mask. on and and you bump somebody in the store like it's okay like so it's, it's just okay to, it's okay off. to do shit like that or Fight in the fucking restaurants or like you know what I'm saying be you know it's a motherfucker I, I forgot why I seen it it's a motherfucker who took his high school photo with a ski mask on I, I I seen that too but I'm just like like y'all don't think this should be dumb bro like y'all niggas be looking dumb and it, I'm not just talking ski about mask, I'm talking everybody ski mask, ski mask stink talking about everybody like it just be so much shit I be seeing between social media on the news and I just be like. You you didn't think this was a bad idea? You didn't think that shit was like stupid, bro? Like a lot of that shit to me be just be seeming dumb, dog. And I, I don't know. I guess I guess it just it just come with getting older, bro. But a lot of y'all motherfuckers it are dumb. Is. Sorry. Yep. Um, dumb shit. I think that's all we got for the for the uh. I, I was about to say kill mo news. <laughs> what the fuck news? That's a Instagram page. Go go fuck with them. They they got some good shit. Do, so you, do you do you think that do you, how you feel one thing one thing about what the fuck do you, how you feel about back out playing in the safe way? It's go go. Nigga, they, they, them niggas, them niggas, they, them niggas could be, they could be playing at the gas station on Wheeler Road. If I would have known in advance, I'd have been in there. Yeah. You know the one thing speaking. My, of saying so that, what? What am one of my homeboys? Right. He he worked with me. He not from here. He said he loves go go music. He said he want to go see backyard. So I think we gotta oblige that man. Them niggas better be outside. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't pay the five. Them niggas, them niggas cost too much, bro. Like, not paying sixty dollars to see. I'm not paying sixty dollars to see no band, bro. I can't do it. I got to draw the line, bro. I give you forty. I give you forty in a heartbeat. Sixty, you pushing it. I'm over huh? the line. You know what I'm saying? Sixty dollars for y'all to start late, take a long ass break. You know what I'm saying? And not play no <laughs> new shit. Come on, dog. And I'm just, I'm just I'm talking about all these bands, not just fucking back. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not paying six. I'm not paying sixty dollars for nobody. I'll unless it's multiple bro, bands. Bro, the twenty dollar age is over. I know. I understand that, but but forty. We I got. I got. When we was kids, I got to stop at forty, bro. I feel like forty is Man, reasonable. Fucking, no, bro. That's almost twenty years later. We can't. No, I can't pay sixty, bro. It got it for sixty. It got if it's more than one band, I'll pay sixty. Bro, bro, all right, okay, all right, say less. I, I don't look. I don't give a fuck who the band is. I don't give a fuck if it's goddamn if they playing Barney song. If it's another band, I'll pay sixty. I'm not paying sixty dollars for one band. We gotta get my man up here, BJ. Go, go and look, and, and, my, and my cousin, my cousin, he be on there with him. He be on there with back, but I can't. We need to see a band. 60. You damn right we do. I'm, I'm, I'm with that. I'm with all the shits. I'm in, I'm in that zone, bouncing around and everything. I just need a good stretch. I gotta stretch out before we go. And I'm up on the 
Yeah. yeah. No, I no, my chop days is over. I just I got a, I just got a vicious ass two step. Two point I got a two point five step. So tell me about this Jurassic Park, man. I know you went to see it. Tell me without telling me. Jurassic Park was lit, bro. Wait, was that your team? Like yeah, it was. <laughs> we, need, we need to add that on on this motherfucker joint. Yeah, yeah, but good action. How was the storyline? Storyline was legit. How they meshed everybody together because you know they had new folks. Yeah, all, all the old heads in the joint. Yeah, yeah, new folks and old folks. Comedy, action, good don- dinosaur fights. It was good, bro. It was good. The only thing that fucked the movie up was the lady that was next to us. Let me tell you. Let me tell you about your nieces. Reagan and Natalia, say about your nieces. So we get out, mm-hmm. we're walking. First thing come out of Reagan's mouth. <gasps> oh my gosh, Dad. I can breathe. I'm like, what are you talking about? The lady next to us smell like chitlins. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, what do you mean? She was like, Dad, you know, when you're driving or you're sitting outside and you get a whiff of poop. That's what she smelled like. I'm like Reagan. What? And was like Reagan was. Tony was like, no, Dad. The lady did stink. That's why she we was. Kept she was stamping it. Yeah, she was like, that's why we can't. That's why we kept looking at y'all and Lena because the lady was boofing so bad. I'm like, um, oh, what movie? What movie that was this? We went to fucking IMAX and World Chapel. Oh no. I normally do I pick, but we it was five of us. I couldn't get all five yeah. seats next to each other. So, so you said um, you said the movie was like two and a half hours. Yeah, that bitch is two and a half, two thirty. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm a, but I'm it's a, but it's not a but it's not a, it's it's enough that you shouldn't fall asleep. If you fall asleep in this motherfucker, oh no 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 no. no. I, I, I watch. If I you're watch a dinosaur, dinosaur fan, movies. if you're a dinosaur fan, you into sci-fi. If you if you're into Jurassic Park, especially like the first one, you got cameos and everything. It's it's legit. So me personally. I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10. I would definitely give it an eight. So you get are you are you are you putting that are you putting that up against Top Gun? I haven't seen Top Gun yet still. Bro. I, better, I, I gotta go see You, you, gotta you go need see a fire stick that shit or something, nigga. You need to I see the fucking movie. Stick. I watched Morbius yesterday. Uh, how was how was that Northman joint? The Northman joint was wild. You gotta pay attention, but I'm into the whole Viking era thing too. So if, if you're not into that whole Viking thing, you know, uh Ragnar Lofbrook, fucking all of that, if you're not into that, then you, it might not be for you. But I'm I'm into that. Like it was deep, like into their culture and everything. It was another wild movie. I'm about to tell you what it was. Don't watch it. Tasha was like, Oh, we should watch this movie. And I'm like, why? It's called Everything Everywhere All at Once. And it has the older Asian lady from Crouch and Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Do not watch that movie. It's bad. It's bad. I'm talking about, so with, due to the fact that the movies that she's played in recently, like, like in the past, Crouch and Tiger, Hidden Dragon, shit like that, you wouldn't expect no wild shit, right? Mm-hmm. It's about her traveling through different universes or whatever. Bruh, she was out of Jones fighting with dildos. No go. <laughs> <laughs> we had the kids in a fucking living room and everything. We was like, whoa, 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 whoa. No. I'm going, I'm going past man. TV yeah, getting too wild, bro. TV yeah. getting wild, dog. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I was, I've been watching Bosch, bro, and I'm kind of falling out of it, dog. It's, it, you know, it was kind of like when I was watching the last season of the different, mm-hmm. the regular Bosch joint, not this legacy thing, and shit was just getting kind of predictable, and it was also just moving slow, and it's kind of the same shit, but it's like less character, so it's like, I'm trying to push yeah. through, but I know the oh, mind, yeah. the minds is back on, I still ain't caught up on Better Call, so I got so much other TV to watch, yeah. but I still gotta watch, you know, the junk TV with my wife, so it's just not enough time of the day. Honestly, this is really the worst time of the year for me to be watching TV, because I'm outside. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I'm not gonna be sitting up in the house watching fucking TV all day or night. But uh, I'm gonna definitely check out the uh, Jurassic Park. I'm probably gonna wait till the shit come on TV though. Um, but the last yeah, thing, man, this this scamming shit, man. You know the scammer. This 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 the worst type of nigga they is, bro. You know it used to be like, man. I, I agree. It used to be like, man. You know, person is a rapist, child molester, a murderer. The scammer shit didn't moved up, bro. 
So yeah, when I, I say how motherfuckers, I don't know how motherfuckers get duped in that shit. So when I say the scam, I'm just more so talking like I'm more so talking online shit. Motherfuckers' pages getting hacked and all this other shit. These random for bro, I be getting so many random text messages like, "Oh, do you want to help the GOP? Click this link." And then like you know, I, I'll get I'll get Instagram DMs. Hey man, you want to help me out with something? something? Like, bro, I know how the fuck this person that sent me this message talks. No one ever says, hey, man. Who says <laughs> that? Hey, man. So it's just my hey, thing man. is I'm like, how did you, the person whose page got hacked, how did you get, like, how yeah. did this even happen to you? So I know they'd be like, what well, you know, you, you got to change your password, dog. I ain't never changed my password because somebody hacked my account. And I be, on, I be on social media a lot. I don't be clicking on shit. Look, all these little, like, uh, take this quiz and see what your favorite color is, and and we're where uh, fishing. Or, or you, yeah, all that shit. People don't be understanding. All no, that it shit. ain't people that don't. And, and ain't people understanding. It. It's these motherfuckers that got these jobs that got to do that goddamn information to fucking securities information awareness fucking certificates and they not they not paying attention to the fishing attacks. Nah, no, they just zooming shit. through this shit. You know what I'm saying? Look, <laughs> look, I give you, I give you one even worse. This shit was crazy. So. So my people's right. Her her husband, uh uh uh, his page got got, but the shit was wild though. It was off some like, like somebody he knew hit him up. Somebody he ain't talked to in a while. I was like, hey, what's good? Da 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 da. I guess I guess the verbiage was kind of like believable. So he was like, he's like, hey, he's like, man, look, we you can make you can make ten bands, man. That's all you got to do. He's like, you got to give me this. your bank account number, not deposit. No, he didn't, he didn't even do that, bro. He was like, he's like, this is what you got to do, but you got to make a video saying that, hey, this is me. This is not a scam. So he did this shit, bro. So I'm like, the fuck? So then next thing you know, his page get hacked. But then the message comes to me. But I'm I'm watching the message. He, so he's making posts. And then, and then it's on a story. And then it's a DM. So I'm like, that's already a red flower. This nigga don't be posting like that. So I, I, I call. I, I said, hey, your husband page is hacked. So she was like, yeah, I know. And I'm like, how the fuck? How are y'all falling for this, bro? Like, how are y'all y'all out here just really just clicking these you tiny URL shits, yeah, bro? Like, they, they clicking them fucking OnlyFans. <laughs> bro. Like the real fucking bro. Fake that, bro. Only fans, bro. I don't even think it. Listen, it, it's a lot. It's a lot of shit to look at. You shouldn't be looking at, bro. But nah, I'm telling y'all right now, it. stop clicking on these fucking links, bro. Stop clicking on these links. Stop having conversations with niggas who never fucking DM you or talk to you. It is all a fucking scam, dog. It is. It is. Yeah, I mean, I'll especially, go... especially the motherfuckers that be asking for your bank accounts. Like, hey, I just need your bank account number. So, and I would deposit this into your account, then you're gonna get this money back, and then that, that, then that's you know they get fucked up with their bank. Like, I don't yeah. know how motherfuckers do it, bro. Then they well, get I, fucked I up have, with their bank. I had one instance, bro. Um, almost got me. He fucked up, though. He fucked up. Look, it was, it was, this, this is military joint, man. So, uh, my post, my post 9 11 shit, uh, GI Bill was, was gone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And this nigga called me. Called me from a 202 number and everything, like a like a similar number. And was like, hey, man, my name is blah, blah, blah for the VA. He's like, I understand, you know what I'm saying? You've just uh, exhausted your, your post-911 GI Bill. So I was like, yeah. So he's like, he's like, look, you know, that there's, there's a, they're passing a bill that's saying that if you went to a school and they got shut down, you know, you're eligible to get your shits replenished. You get your GI Bill replenished. Mm -hmm. So I was in my head, I'm like, this nigga did some research, bro. So he kind of had me figure it out, but then he fucked up. And he was just like, he was like, yeah, if you could just give me your social. And I was like, damn, bro. Yeah. yeah. He's like, he's like, he's like, I, I said, I said, you almost got me, dog. I said, you that's how they get your ass. They ask you for that PI. I said, First you almost, I said, you almost got me. I, I, I said, I said, you know where you went wrong, bro. I said, no one ever asked for the fool. I said, if you would have said last four, you would have had me. But then my thing yeah. is, you can't do shit with the last four. You need, you need the other, yeah, other five numbers. That's why they started doing fucking DODID numbers. Yeah, I said you almost got me, bro. I'm just like, bro, you are fucking yeah, they, low life, bro. Somebody tried to get my grandma. They was calling all some like fake insurance. But them be the one. Them, them, those those are the number they, one and targets. They target and they target old elderly folks. Yeah, I was mad and shit. I I fucking sat there. And she was like, yeah, this number keep calling me saying I owe them money. I was like, oh my, oh, 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 oh. So they called him one day while I was there. I fucking fired their ass up. And then, you know me, 
trace his numbers back. It was like some fucking scamming Indian fucking shit or whatever the fuck. That shit, wow. It's videos on YouTube and shit. Motherfuckers are scamming the scammers now. Yeah. It was like, yeah, oh yeah, like, your real have... name is it's like your real name is such and such and your IP address is this and you're here and I see you through your video. They be fucking their ass up. So by all yeah. means, please continue fucking with these scams. Yeah, bro. Like, bro, I, I had a, I kept getting these text messages. I had a nigga call me, was like, hey, uh, we want to talk to you about uh 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 your property and what do you say, something court. And I'm like, the fuck are you talking about, bro? I was like, where's that at? He was like, oh, it's in Newport News. I was like, I don't live in no fucking Newport News, bro. I was like, remove my number. I just happened to look this shit up, look up the address, some old ass abandoned house. So then yeah. I looked at the guy because he kept calling me Hugh. I was like, who the fuck is Hugh? So I looked it up. It's some old white guy. Probably didn't got got, sir. All these, so I'm get, I get a message every other day asking, do I want to sell a property? Then it'd be like, reply, stop. If you don't want the message, I don't even do that shit because when I was replying, stop. Usually, if you want to opt out of message, you hit stop. It'll say you've now been unsubscribed. Mm -hmm. It's not even saying that, which means it's just a number. They doing that yeah. shit just to see if you're gonna fucking respond. Then they'll keep pinging you. Yeah. So y'all yeah. like, trying to sound like the same shit they be having on that show, Catfish. <laughs> Bro, I, 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 I had I, I had some catfish like shit happen to me when I was a young nigga. We'll, we'll talk offline about that. Shit was wild. Like I'm talking, nigga. I, I, I probably been. been one. I, I probably been floating up the fucking river somewhere if I'd have, if I'd have motherfucking took my ass out there. But yeah, man, mm -hmm. man, y'all be careful, dog. Like this, it's a lot of motherfuckers yeah. out here that don't want to fucking work for shit. And they they want to take your shit and run your run your motherfucking accounts up, and you be out here fucking broke while they sitting yep. on their ass. That's all yeah, I got, yeah. man. Um, mm. it's been a long week, bro, and it's only fucking Tuesday. Only Hopefully Don't I can get. I some... was feeling it. I was feeling it today. Hopefully I can get some rest tonight. Probably not. But um, before I hit my dad joke, I just want to say something serious, man. Like, look, shit wild in our neighborhoods, right in the DMV area. Babies and shit getting shot every fucking day, man. My fucking getting robbed. Fucking just, just pay attention, man. Keep your fucking situational awareness, right? You know what I mean? Like when you're pumping your gas, don't leave your car running. Don't leave your keys in there, right? That's how they taking your shit. You know what I mean? Make sure when you come outside, you know what I mean? You go get your mail or whatever the fuck that you're looking both ways. Don't take the same route home every day if you don't have to. It's just like all types of people, man. It's, it's motherfuckers that have nothing else better to do but just follow you and watch you, man. So just stay on y'all P's and Q's. Shit wild out here. Inflation is a fucking thing. I paid $124 to fill my fucking car up. Gas is $6. $6 a gallon. Shit crazy. Shit is so, wild, bro. Yeah, man. Just just I just I just hope everybody be careful. What was that? I have my dad joke. What did the duck say when he bought chapstick? Put it on my bill. <laughs> 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 You fucking idiot, bro. You're lucky I'm tired, bro. You won't you won't get nothing out of that one from me, man. Yeah, you crazy. Yeah, bro. You smile, bro. That's good enough. Wild as shit. Man, look, man. Make sure y'all subscribe. Hey, listen. If y'all have an opportunity, man, make sure y'all go raid our shit too, man. We we had we had a real one. We had a I had an old sandboxian came through and, and gave us a five star rating, bro. Man, yeah, pull up yeah, on yeah. pull up on wherever the fuck y'all listening. I don't think you can do it on YouTube, but whatever you listen to the audio, man, give us a rating, bro. Be honest. If, if the shit fucking yeah. sucks, bro, let me know. I know that's a fucking yeah. lie, but, you know, I just had to throw that out there, man. Give us a rating, man. We, you know, episode 98, we coming up on 100. We got a lot of shit coming up, man. After yeah, 100, shit we gonna got, get fucking we got crazy. Big, yeah, we got big shit coming up, so make sure y'all yeah. stay tuned. Tune into it each and every Monday, unless it's a holiday, some shit pop off. We don't be popping off on Monday, so... Much obliged. Appreciate y'all. All right, y'all. Captain out.